Ah, uh, the new Downton Abbey movie premieres today. And if you're looking to experience the real thing in England or taste of it right here in the city, we've got you covered. Travel expert Katie Keogh joins us now with some tips. And Katie, you just recently came back from yeah, England. I was so there. you actually got to see the real Downton Abbey. It was fantastic. Yeah. And the movie is premiering tonight, so it's kind of appropriate to talk about it right now. But yes, I went. It's in Hampshire, England. Okay. It's about a 40 minute train ride and then like a 15 minute cab ride to get to Highclere Castle. But if there's a thing called screen tourism. Have you heard of this? No. no. So it's when people book a trip because they loved a movie oh, series got it. or okay. like like Game oh. of Thrones yes. or yeah, in yeah, this yeah. case, Downton Abbey. I'm a huge fan of Downton Abbey. So that I was able to experience Downton Abbey in person was uh, just amazing. So can you get actually get in the actual castle? Yes. Okay. So they only do it a few times a year, but this summer they're opening it up. So you can tour the gardens. You can tour inside. No photos are allowed, of course, yep. but you can tour inside and then have a lovely lunch. You could do a, a picnic afternoon lunch, um, but book your tickets early because they do sell out. But to have like a, a lunch uh, on the castle on the estate would be Beautiful. amazing. I yeah, mean, so gosh. did you like recognize some of those rooms from the TV show? Oh, yes. I mean, I'm a huge fan. I mean, I felt like for a moment I was the Crawleys. I was the family member because uh -huh. so, you're walking the grounds and you're like, wow, this is where they shot everything because they shot the majority of the movie there. Too, they really so. did because usually yeah. they do the exteriors and stuff and then they go on the sound stage and they shoot right. the rest well, of it. I'm sure they had some of that too, but quite, you know, all the exterior shots, of course, and it was just, it was a dream. I imagine living in a house like that. I mean, how do you live in it? I mean, it's so <laughs> freaking big. So I actually met the, the countess and uh, oh, Lady Carnarvon, cool. and so they kind of live in the back. I mean, they don't live in the house because there's no Wi-Fi, so right there, they're okay, out. Okay, well, there you go, yeah. you're out. <laughs> <laughs> but they have events there, and they do this thing. They, they want to open it up to the public, which they have done, so that's why we're saying book these tickets um, at High Clare Castle. You will not be disappointed. And you can stay in the area, too. You can stay overnight. Yeah, okay. Is there a lot to do in the town, surrounding um, town? Probably not a lot to do, but, but you know, we stayed at a place called Carnarvon Arms, which is five minutes from the castle, and it was so lovely. It was British and a sweet little inn, and I would recommend it. Just take your time and relax, because if you watch the movies like me and you watch the TV series, it's just you're in you're in your element. Transported. Just, you are transported. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, I guess that's enough of an experience if you go on the vacation. Right. Now, we talked about or we teased the fact that you can actually have this experience here in Chicago. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. We were trying to find, like, where we could have high tea. Of course, bless you. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> of course you can have high tea at places like the Drake and have that experience. Yeah. But we thought we would kind of take it up a notch this time and check out um, the Broadway in Chicago musical Six, right? Okay. So Six, um, and I, I guess we're still seeing that. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Six is all about Henry VIII's uh, wives, right? And mm -hmm. it's their, they retell the story and they reclaim their voice. It's so funny. It's like 80 minutes long. You will have the time of your life. These girls are just fantastic. It's an all-female cast. Oh, that's cool. And again, it's uh, Broadway in Chicago, and they're here until July 3rd. So there's a little way to get a little British uh, a flair, if you will, here in Chicago. A little okay. bit more now current yeah. British flair. Oh, it's great. Yeah, Food it's and drinks show. in Chicago, too. Yeah. So if you are, are going to the show, which I did, go across the street to the grill room, and they have signature cocktails. So you can get your queen cocktail. Oh. Whatever queen is your favorite of Henry VIII, you can order that cocktail mm. across the street. So definitely do that before or after the show. Oh, that's okay. a great idea. And, and you had a little gift for us? Oh, yes, yes, I did bring a little gift for you. <laughs> Cocktails. Speaking Ooh. of cocktails, I feel like I'm a. This is called High Clear Castle Gin. So they have their own gin. So this oh is the gosh. actual the lady and 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 Lord of uh, High Clear Castle. They are actually uh, behind this. So all of the ingredients from High Clear Castle Gin are like from their grounds, from the estates. So the Ooh. lavender, the juniper, the oats, all of it is made uh, right on their grounds. So that's kind of fun uh, mm -hmm. part of it. And then you can get it here at locally at your binnies. So watch the TV series and check out High Clear Castle. Uh, and you have gin. a martini while you're sitting there watching them. Yes. Yes. Oh, and here's a fun little fact too. Uh, back in the day, when you were at the high, you know, in the 1600s, 1800s, they would love their cocktails, right? So the mixologist was the head butler back then. And if you go to oh. their site, they have all the recipes from a hundred years ago that Ooh, you can make. Oh, that's fun. So again, if you're kind of getting into this whole vibe of Downton Abbey, this yeah. is a perfect cocktail to check out and 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 you know, go back in time for a moment. Oh, I love it. Do they still at the at the castle too, or are they just getting all the stuff from the land? No, it's all, there? all from the grounds, okay, like their gardens. So, yeah. so yes. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Really cool. cool. It's all from there. See, I love this experiential Thank you. thing. Yeah. Very timely. Yeah. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, Thank Katie, you that so was much. really fun. Uh, if you want to follow some more of Katie's great tips, she goes everywhere. Let's go with Katie <laughs> Keo, uh, her Facebook and social media handles, as well as the website. And my podcast. And the podcast as well. Yeah. Let's go with Katie Keo. <laughs>